You just didn't have to take off work today, that's all. You know, this is a routine exam with Dr. Clay. I told you, I want to be with you. What's the big deal? It's nothing. It's just a, a silly little follow-up exam. I don't need you holding my hand. I like holding your hand. Oh. I like holding your hand a lot. <laughs> Besides, it gives me an excuse to dodge viewing Scott's documentary. Not exactly looking forward to seeing myself star in video verite. Oh, excuse me. Who said that you're going to be starring in his documentary? I was told that I am being featured as a domestic goddess. Okay, fine. I'll have my people hassle your people. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. I'm just going to check and see if Dr. Clater is in yet. I, I hope he's not running behind. He's not, honey. We're 20 minutes early. Uh, early? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I did. That's what I was trying to do when you were charging out the door. I thought I was too busy scrambling to make sure I got in the car so you wouldn't take off without me. Well, I'm sorry. I just, you know, how I, how I hate to be late. Yeah, but that's not what's got you so hyped up, is it? You're hoping that Dr. Clater gives you the green light to get pregnant again. Look, all I expect Dr. Clater to tell me is what I already know. And that is that I'm fine. Honey. Come on, we got a deal, right? No holding back. I'm not holding back. I mean, I haven't. I promised that I would take good care of myself while I was pregnant, and I did. And, you know, things just weren't meant to be. And I, I accept that. I have. I know. I, I have, too. But I've been upfront about my pregnancy, haven't I? I just want to make sure you're upfront about your expectations now. All I expect is for Dr. Clater to tell me that I am A-OK. -okay. Well, I hope so. Well, uh, isn't that a welcome sight? <laughs> How are you two feeling this morning? <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. I'm fine. Well, let's make it official, shall we? Serious question. Sure. Was there any way that Hayward might have been right? I mean, about Dixie being able to carry a baby to term? I mean, if she was under strict supervision? Well, <laughs> yes, it's medically possible, but Tad, we've been down this road before. You know the statistics. It's going to be a high risk pregnancy. It's going to be really hard on her heart and the one kidney she has left. But why? Why do you ask? Because she wants it so badly. I mean, even after everything has happened. Is that what she's saying? She doesn't have to, pal. I mean, every time she looks at a baby, she goes crazy. Or, or anything remotely connected with an infant, for that matter. And for some reason, she's, she's positive that she can beat the odds. You know how I feel about this. But if you two are willing to face the risks again, it's the same, the same routine. She'd have to come in every week, several times a week. We'd have to monitor her, her heart function, her kidney function. I know, I know. I know you know, but does she know? She's got to be straight up. She, she's got to convey her emotional and physical well-being. 100% honesty, 200% compliance. Well, see, that's another thing. Dixie swears to me her days of hiding her medical problems are over. And to be fair, you know, once she told me about the pregnancy, she was honest about everything else. Mm -hmm. She promises to be truthful. She better be truthful. For her own good.
You tell him. Your wife is as good as new. Aside from a few hormonal surges, uh, which may continue for a couple more weeks, why, well, she's uh, just like new. <laughs> That's fantastic. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Dr. Clay. <laughs> no need to thank me. Dixie's the one doing all the work. You keep it up. Hmm? I will. Oh. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> Duty calls. If you have any questions or concerns, call me. Hmm? Will do. Right. Thank Excuse you. me. You see, what did I tell you? I'm fine, good as new, he said. Oh, yeah? You gonna grow a new kidney? Oh, very funny. I'm feeling much better. I'm just gonna get stronger. No, hold on a minute, Wonder Woman. I know no, exactly no, 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 you hold on. I know exactly what you're gonna say, okay? And maybe, you know, we now, now is not the time to talk about this, okay? It's the perfect time to talk about it. Come on, let's go get lunch somewhere. No, 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 I wanted to say hi to Stuart if he's volunteering today, and you have to get back to the studio, right? Scott's probably chomping at the bit. So let him chomp. I mean, this is, this is very important. I know, but maybe we just don't have to make a decision now, do we? No, of course we don't. I just thought you might want to tell me what you're thinking. Well, if I was thinking anything, I might be thinking about getting pregnant. And if I was thinking about getting pregnant, if I was, if, I would be very, very careful with my body. I would be taking excellent care of myself. You would have nothing to worry about, nothing to be afraid of. I will, I'll share everything with you. I will never shut you out. <laughs> you are so amazing. What? You know, you just started the last statement with if, and somehow you ended up with a done deal. Now... How exactly do you do that? Did I do that? Yeah, that's exactly what you did. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. Well, maybe, I don't know. I mean, maybe because it's a good idea. Or maybe, maybe it's because it just feels meant to be or something like that. Or maybe uh -huh. it's because you're just so smart and strong and, and, and instinctual oh. that you just picked up oh. on it, you know? It's just like in the air, you know? Flattery, absolutely. Yeah, well, it's certainly getting a little thick around here. Maybe it's, no, no, I might as well just wade off to work before Stop. it's Stop, don't thick you here. even Start. That's your wallet. <laughs> hey. What? Over here? Ted. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're okay. Mm -hmm. I want you to be happy. You know that, right? Yeah. I do. I am. Good. Because this conversation isn't over. <laughs> Woof. <sighs> Sorry I'm late, guys. Well, it's a good thing that you are. Uh, we had some troubles with the time codes. I goofed, and they have to be redone. <laughs> but so you're not ready for me? No, no. Hey, we're, you can see them. Uh, my amazing assistant here kept a handwritten log of them. Yeah. I wrote down all the time code, so all you have to do is follow along as you watch the tape. Well, that was uh, quite industrious of you. That's a that's an impressive save. Well, thank you. So, um, we'll give you some privacy. You can check the footage and uh, tick off what's okay for us to use and what's not. Well, you know, I may need Dixie to come look at this because her input's just as important as mine. No problem. I mean, whatever you guys decide. Okay, great. Let's go. Okay. Where are you guys going? Greenlee. Do you do me a favor, get me a cup of coffee and check my message box, please. If anything looks important, bring it to me. Uh, sure. See ya. Something wrong? Not for long. Okay. Dixie interview. Domestic goddess. Do your stuff. Oh, boys, it's hearts are everywhere. Oh, boys, these cards are everywhere. 